Hi there. Now in this video what I want to do is show you how we derive the equation for a hyperbola. Remember that I showed you in an earlier video that it's the locus of a point P that moves in such a way that the distance from P to a fixed point S called the focus, when you compare it to P to a fixed line called the directrix, that ratio always remains a constant and we call that constant E, where E stands for the eccentricity and E is greater than 1 for a hyperbola. Now in order to get the Cartesian equation of the hyperbola, it's quite a long proof, but what we're going to need first of all is to set this graph up on axes, work out the coordinates of the focus S and the equation of the directrix. And to do this, we take our points P on the uh, curve. P can be either on this branch or this branch in such a way that PS equals E times PM, where E is greater than 1. So if I look at this point here where the curve crosses this straight line here, it will cross this point which I'll call A and this point here which I'll call A dash or A prime. Let's say we make the distance between A and A dash a length 2A. And if we take the midpoint of that length 2A and draw a y-axis in here, then it's going to look something like this. This will become our x-axis. And let's say the directrix cuts the x-axis at this point D here. I'm going to let the distance O to D be L. Let's just mark it in, L. Now, if that's the case, we know that when P is at this point A, by this definition here, we can see that, therefore, the length SA must equal E times the distance A to D. And if that's so, then we've therefore got that SA must equal E times the distance AD, and AD is going to be A minus L. So just mark that in brackets there, A minus L. And we're going to come back to this equation in a moment. So let's just call it equation 1. Now I need another equation and I'm going to look at S to A dash. That's when P is at this point here. So just mark in here that also we know that S a dash must equal E times A dash D, okay, by this definition here. So remember, P will be at A dash at one instant. And so we've got S A dash equals E times A dash D. And I also know that S A dash if we look up here, SA dash is going to be SA plus 2A. So just put that in, that it's SA plus 2A. And now I can substitute this in here. So I've therefore got SA plus 2A equals E times A dash D. But A dash D is going to be A plus L. So we've got E times all of A plus L. And I'll call this equation 2. And from this, we can substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So just say sub 1 into. And what does that give us? Well, we're going to have E times A minus L. And that's going to be plus 2A. And then that equals E times all of A plus L. And then if you expand this, rearrange the terms and group up, you should find 
that you get 2a, let's just put here, therefore 2a equals 2el. And from this, if we divide both sides by 2e, we get l. We get l to be equal to a over e. So if l equals a over e, it follows from this then that the directrix, just mark it in here, that directrix has equation x equals a over e. Now if I take that value for l, let's say we call this 3. If I substitute 3 into equation 1, I can get SA. So let's just make a note of that, sub 3 in 1. Doing that gives me that SA, but therefore SA, equals E times A minus L. So that's A minus A over E. And if I expand that, I get EA minus A. Now I want to get the x coordinate for the focus s, and that's going to be the distance os. So os is equal to a plus sa. So let's just put therefore os equals a plus sa. I've got sa as that, so if I add it to a, I'm just left with EA. So you can see that OS equals EA. So therefore, the coordinates of S are EA, or AE, obviously, 0. Now, because the hyperbola is symmetrical about the y-axis, I didn't have to take the focus or the directrix on the right-hand side of the y-axis. I could have done exactly the same calculation if I'd taken them on the left-hand side with the focus over here and a directrix down here. It would have led to the focus S having coordinates minus EA and the directrix would have been X equals minus A over E. So what we have then is that because the hyperbola is symmetrical about the y-axis, the foci can either be at plus or minus EA zero, and the directrices can either be at X equals plus or minus A over E. Now, if we clean up the diagram and mark in the focus as having coordinates AE and zero, and the equation of the directrix, which we saw as x equals a over e. If I now take the general point P having coordinates x, y, then knowing that PS equals e times PM, I can square this equation. If I square it, I'm going to get PS squared equals e squared times PM squared. Now for PS squared, the square of the distance between two points, then that's going to be the difference between the x-coordinates, AE minus x, all squared, plus the difference between the y-coordinates, that would be y minus 0, all squared. So putting that in, we've got PS squared then equals AE minus x, all squared, plus y squared, and then we've got E squared times PM squared. Well, the distance PM is just going to be from the y-axis to P, that will be X, minus the y-axis to M, which will be A over E. So we've got E squared times X minus A over E, all squared. And then expanding this gives us the following. Now, if I subtract the X squared and Y squared terms from both sides, and subtract A squared from both sides, also factorise and group together, I get this equation here. And from here, if I divide both sides by a squared, e squared minus 1, then what I'm going to get is this. And this will clean up when these two cancel one another out. 
to this equation. Now, if we let b squared equal a squared times e squared minus 1, then our equation turns into the Cartesian form that we should now be familiar with. x squared over a squared minus y squared divided by b squared equals 1. So I hope that's given you some understanding then how we derive this equation, how we get the equation for our directrix, x equals a over e. Don't forget it can be minus a over e if it's on this side, and the coordinates of the focus, a e 0, and again if the focus is over here it will be minus a e 0. Don't forget this connection also between B, A and E. You're going to need this when it comes to working with further questions. So, there you go. Hope you've been able to follow that.